Hey everyone, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Wario's Trapped with Finn, where we will be taking on part two of going for the good ending in standard mode in this video, which we will be taking on night three to start off part two. So without further ado, we will take on night three and part two for the good ending and see what has to offer for us. And the third part to the um, time machine is in the indoor pool, so we will be doing the indoor pool for night three, just like we did in standard mode for the bad ending. Now I'm going to skip the phone call, like I said, because I've already heard it. And the third piece is right here. And this will be another how-to for those who haven't done the indoor pool or haven't played the game. And I remember, I gotta, I gotta control the pool temperature so that I can jump in the pool. Because I don't want it to be too hot or too cold when I jump in when I'm dealing with Wario. And then Luigi, I gotta look away from. And of course, the best part about the Ender Pool is that painting of Wario right there jumping in the pool, fully clothed, which is actually really funny. <laughs> I don't get why they have a painting of Wario in the Ender Pool. That's just so funny. <laughs> Checking for Wario. Oops. Okay, I don't know. Oh, hold on. Okay, Luigi's not there, so that's a good thing. I don't know what just happened. Okay, I don't know what just happened here, but somehow the game, somehow I ex, somehow the game just went out, and then I just, and it, and it went back to my home screen. I don't know why, because I I didn't even exit out, so. I, I apologize for if for that. I, I don't know why that happened. Because I didn't even exit out of the game. So for some weird reason it just happened. I don't know. It happened right when I was before I was going to deal with Wario. And it's a good thing I reacted in time. Because otherwise I would have got killed. And thankfully I did not see Luigi in the pool. Oh, that's Wario. Luigi's not here, so that's a good thing. So far, I haven't had to deal with Luigi in the pool. I've only had to deal with Wario in the in the room. I don't know why I haven't had to deal with Luigi, but so far I haven't had to. So I've been able to jump in the so I've been able to jump in the pool without having to look away from him. Checking for Wario right now. Okay, Wario's not there, so that's good. Because I need to remember to look out for him when I'm adjusting the pool temperature. Here he is, speak of the devil. And this is the third time I jumped into the pool and haven't seen Luigi. I've only seen I've only seen Wario this night. I haven't had a deal with Luigi yet. That's actually really interesting. Cause usually when you jump in the pool, like once in a while Luigi will appear and then you gotta look away from him.
Okay, Wario is not there, so that's a good thing. Oh, he's here, so I gotta jump in. Oh, Luigi's here, so I gotta look to the left. Alright, so this is the first time I've seen Luigi in the pool. I don't know if... I, I didn't think he'd appear in the pool, but he did at 5 a.m. Because, I mean, cause in, when I was doing this in standard mode, he appeared like once or twice, and that was it. But, I mean, so far, he's only appeared once, and he didn't appear until 5 a.m. When I was dealing with Wario. Alright, so we have beaten night three in part two of going for the good ending, and since I have enough time left on my camera, we will take on night four in part two of going for the good ending.